The efficiency of you as a manufacturer is critical. Competing on operational excellence is central to your overall strategy. One of the most significant components of value chain, a manufacturing facility, is suffering from high preventative maintenance costs. Any machine outage incurs significant associated opportunity costs. The high availability of assets is critical for any fixed asset-based company, as telecommunication operators, utility providers, wind turbine operators, lift operators, transportation providers, and many more. Maintenance services have always been important. But as equipment becomes more complex and automated, IoT application becomes critical. System monitoring via sensors in combination with predictive maintenance modeling can significantly increase the runtime of assets. Predictive maintenance, as opposed to preventative maintenance, becomes a critical success factor. Preventative maintenance with its regular maintenance schedules can be expensive and increase the risk of machine failure, urgent remediation activities, and unplanned downtime, with significant opportunity costs due to the downtimes. Now I would like to show you how you can use Belladotti to increase the availability of your critical assets. Let me give you an overview of our data. We are using data set of manufacturer that runs three different lines that consist of various components, as engine, power supplies, and so on. The customer had history of unplanned downtimes for each component on each of three lines. Data set includes component ID, component type, production line, and time and duration of unplanned downtime. In the next step, we analyze which line causes us the highest opportunity cost due to unplanned outage. Line 3, with 43% of total downtime, has the highest downtime and generates 49% of opportunity costs. We therefore focus on Line 3 and get analysis of downtime by components for this line. The highest downtime is caused by power supply components, 35%, and engine, also 35%. Remaining components represent smaller proportion, so we will further focus on the engine part. Our customer has decided to implement sensor monitoring for the engine, so that he can get early warning before the engine is broken, and he can plan the resources in advance to keep the outage time minimal. Let's have a look at data from sensors. It contains record ID, date, time of the record, and sensor data for the temperature and electric power usage. Using Belladotti, we will create the visualization of sensor data for the temperature and energy consumption depending on time. We see that the average value for the temperature is 92.5, and its values oscillate in the range from 90 to 98 degrees. We have displayed in the red dotted line the interval of plus minus two standard deviations, which in statistics means that 95% of cases should appear in this interval if there are no other changes. Producer of engine further guarantees the operational temperature of the engine up to 100 degrees. There are two measurements that lay outside the range of plus minus two sigma, however still below 100 degrees, which can be an early warning of a failure. At the same time, corresponding power usage increases as well. Belladotti allows us to set up automated alerts when the actual value from the sensor goes over a certain level. In this case, if the temperature is higher than 95 degrees. The alert can be sent by email, SMS, or simply appear on the screen as a warning. Now we can use historical information for the component of interest that contains ID number, status, and actual lifetime to predict the lifetime of parts that were not broken yet, so that we can plan the maintenance correspondingly. We calculate and forecast the remaining lifetime using Belladotti's predictive maintenance function. Belladotti uses regression to calculate and forecast estimated lifetime. As the output, we get estimated lifetime and can have a look at regression parameters and quality of the regression. Belladotti's predictive maintenance forecasting function is made ready for the standard user. You can, however, create and pack your own functions using available libraries. In the next step, we can perform the modeling of cost-effective lifetime. We have to work with probabilities that a part will be broken. 
One extreme is that we want to make sure that no part is unexpectedly broken. It may cost us significant resources. Related costs are modeled by the red curve. Earlier we replace the part, the higher our maintenance costs. Another extreme is that we leave significant parts to break. We save on maintenance costs, however, our opportunity costs rise significantly. The minimum of the sum of both functions is cost-effective lifetime that tells us when we should replace the part. We call this effective lifetime. Effective lifetime for this demo model is 75 days. Then we sort all parts by the time in operation, which is the current lifetime. We then mark in red all parts with less than four days remaining to the effective lifetime to plan the replacement on time. Belladotti's advanced analytics out of the box and framework is agile, so you can easily make adjustments and use it to solve your tasks. You can find more resources on our partner portal.